Hello and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution. Now this is a part uh, park I built uh, a while ago. This was before the Return to Jurassic Park DLC and maybe even before the Herbivore pack. So uh, I'm just going to re re-show this island um, since it was on the channel I had last year and then I deleted because I thought oh I'm getting too busy and I just don't have the time to maintain and then I came back so from the entrance we have this small shopping area complete with no bathrooms because this was before bathrooms were required and as you can see because they don't have any bathrooms we are low uh, so with our first hotel then you can jump on the monorail follow this around and we go into our main area where there's two hotels on either side of our innovation center as well as park amenities a bar which is fully populated uh, bowling alley fossil center clothes shop arcade and of course the restaurant which of course we need more so in this first area facing this way is of course Europe so in the Europe enclosures we have the Aurora Titan since it's classed as being in um, since it's classed as being in Russia so it lives in here with the Iguanodons and the Polycanthus and of course we have two Mementi sources I've tried to separate the herbivore feeders and the carnivore feeders so they have to go over here to feed so they don't scare the other dinosaurs um, but they still do of course um, hunting has been turned off so there's no risk to anything being eaten in the enclosure to the uh, left is a pack of Perosceratosaurus in their little um, lake area well pond I guess you can say it's not much of a lake and then up here in the top end of the park we have a baryonyx uh, cove kind of enclosure with a little island with a nod tree followed by rocks and a few fish feeders and then if we go back to the innovation center to uh, the right of Europe we have the America with our gyrospear tour uh, in this enclosure we have our T-Rex because we can't have the Americans without a T-Rex along with a brachiosaurus who are currently chilling in the trees and there's also our Triceratops Edmontosauruses so th I guess you can technically class this as America and Canada and Kylos Stegosaurus Stryosaurs I thought I had Struthios in here but I don't think I have uh, two separate water um, water areas so at least they can go over to this pond to drink if they don't want to drink from our river up north from uh, our T-Rex and T-Rex enclosure we have in here Pachycephalosaurus as well as uh, Eusopolis so this was during uh, Claire Sanctuary a Diplodocus and a Storacosaurus as well as Corythosaurus in a two pond kind of area and I think this one is also the Americans we have a Deinonychus now Deinonychus is a dinosaur I don't use that much because they are quick to 
uh, quick to break out, very low comfort threshold. So I keep, so I only really use them when I can turn off their behavioural requirements. And then in the enclosure to the right of this one, we have, there they are, up in the top corner, up on the little rocky ridge, are troodons. So representing Canada along with the Embontosauruses. Then as we go to the right of uh, the US, we have Asia with our Dilophosaurs in here, hiding under the big tree. Various colours. And then we have in the enclosure to the right, a pack of raptors. And this was obviously before the raptor squad pack, otherwise we would have had those raptors. So that's my generic raptor squad. And then in this very large enclosure, we have our Mementis, followed by a Hyangosaurus. I think there's gonna be Chunking in here as well. Yep, they're running up here with our Parasaurs. I didn't wanna put these in with the Americans because it was just getting too full. Our dryosaurs also represent in Australia. If you follow the Olympics, as you know, it comes under uh, comes under Asia now. Tintanosaurus, Gallimimus, and the Archaeos, and of course the little uh, smallest dinosaur in this park, Homeo Acape. I think I massacred that. But of course the Mementis standing tall and I'm in the tree as they are the biggest creatures in this park. I'm just trying not to rush. Oh, Crichtonsaurus as well hiding here. I, so again, a nice big river running through all three enclosures with spacious trees as you can tell I really like these um, low wide trees gives you plenty of forest for a small area and keeps the Mementis happy even though I've turned off the requirements that would have been just enough and as we go back round to the right side to this um, hotel. We have the South American in, uh, enclosures with our um, car carnivores. We have our guests who are freaking out at the mere presence of them, which is always good. And then as we follow the gyrus bee around into multiple enclosures, in here is our Dreadnoughtus in this nice big enclosure along with the Gigas. You can see the Gyrosphere again comes round into here with our ba -ba 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 -ba, Herosaurus before it comes full circle and goes along the mountain ridge where you can get up close and personal because I have actually put I have put a feeder up here. No, I haven't but they like to climb this mountain. I think these were mixed with a goat. They like to climb. And then this brings us to our very last uh, region, which is again is a nub, which is our Jurassic Tour. And again, it needs to be updated. Oh, it did have the herb before pack, so I was telling a little white lie before um, return to Jurassic Park. So in this enclosure we have our African dinosaurs with the Nigerosaurus with a noise herd of uh, Kentosaurs, Majungasaurus uh, in the plains 
and I've tried to set this up into three different areas so we got like a savannah area here with the, for the Uranos and and then we've got a deserty area with a with a Charcarodontosauruses and it seems that the Nigerosauruses like it in here as well the Sukumimus with the swampy rivery sections with our Spinosaur who likes to live in this area They've, she's carved out that territory so I've tried to turn this into like a marshy uh, foresty area just try to get the three feels of Africa in one space and it's worked quite well and again she's claiming that whole area over to the right of this one is a bonus enclosure this was originally the birthing suite until I extended it fully out and made two large uh, water sources with one fish feeder well two fish feeders and this has become our hybrid enclosure with our Ankylodocus, Stegoceratopsis and our Spinoraptors. The Spinoraptor squad. That's actually my favourite skin for the Spinoraptor. I like the black on the head. And that's the favourite skin for the Stegoceratops, the jungle. And the Ankylodocus is not taking any chip from any truck. How do you, in the comments, let me know, do you say Ankylodocus or Ankylodocus? Because I've heard it said both ways. And the tour just comes full circle up this mountain area. This is where the incubation centre was, the hatchery was. And I've just, instead, just put a feeder up here along with a tour. And that is the world park a lot of walking and a lot of and just a lot of different areas uh, I this this area was, was a bit of an afterthought um, so that's why I put the hotel here because I just didn't know what to put in here because it was just I've got all the South American dinosaurs in there there's no more so I'll do that as you can see everything is fairly cheap as well it's a good thing we've got limited money so that is the end of our park and our ranger station what did I, build? I think I built a ranger station by the African exhibit to create the illusion of the rangers as well it was a long time ago when I built this uh, probably over a year ago so I like our little desert oasis along with the savannah ponds the watering holes and uh, the swamp so let me know in the comments what's your favorite area which design you liked the most And please leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.